Welcome back everyone. I'm Annalisa with Hands on Higher Ed and today we're going to show you a to-do list organization method that will work wonders for your productivity. So take out your favorite pen and a pack of post-it notes and let's get work done. In order to get started with this to-do list method, you can ask the person responsible for purchasing your department's office supplies to order the items we place in the description below. Once they arrive, feel free to organize them like we do in this video to get the most out of this method. We'll start by diving into the first section of our binder. You'll want to have your favorite writing utensils and post-it notes at the front of your binder inside this pouch for easy access while you're on the go. The binder's small size combined with having these tools right up in the front will make it super easy to jot down tasks at a moment's notice. Create a key section for your binder where you list the categories of your to-do list items. We recommend that you purchase multiple colors of post-its with each color representing a unique category of your work. Here I decided to represent my weeks, for example, week 16, finals, and winter break tasks. This section of the binder is reserved for tasks with defined deadlines occurring within the month. The binder sleeves included here are used to hold documents or flyers from meetings where I didn't have time to write tasks on my post-it notes. You'll notice the task is color-coded to match my winter break category. If after writing down your own tasks, you realize you might need more room to write out things like how you'll complete them, include a few more sheets of lined paper. The items placed in this section are your top priorities and should be completed within the next 24 to 48 hours. You'll want to check and complete the tasks located here first thing each morning before moving into the rest of your to-do list items. If you need help identifying what your top priorities should be, consult with your supervisor early and often. This section is where most of your tasks will live, but I'll be honest, keeping this section organized is going to take some effort. What I'd recommend doing is setting aside about 10 to 20 minutes at the end of your workday to review the day's meetings, notes, and emails. You'll want to make tasks out of them using your colored categories and put them into the section. A tip for organizing this section would be to organize tasks that needs to be completed between one to five days or within the same business week. Everything else can be placed into the next section. When you're ready to start prioritizing your tasks, you can take them out of the previous section and place them into this one if your goal is to complete them soon. For me, soon is usually within the next week or so, but it can look different for each person. Just don't make it too far out because that kind of defeats the purpose of having a soon section. As you might have guessed, the tasks that you want to complete in the future would go here. Your future tasks are the ones that you know will happen within the next few months, but don't need your attention right now unless you got some free time on your hands. Finally, the idea section is where you get to dream big. Write out new projects or initiatives that you'd like to complete or even add in some plans to ask for your next vacation. When you are ready to make your dreams into a reality, just grab the post-it notes and place them in the sections that make the most sense to you, whether if it's placing it into task, soon, future, and so on and so forth. Thanks everyone for watching. Be sure to follow us on social media on Hands On Higher Ed and hit the subscribe button. And lastly, don't forget all the items that I mentioned in this video are down below on the link. Thanks.